We're going to switch into real estate this morning and welcome back local realtor Monica Sunstorm. Now we're going to focus this morning on home staging. Home staging is beyond just decorating and cleaning. It's about perfecting the art of creating moods. Staging your home can make it bigger, brighter, more colorful, warmer, more loving, and most importantly, it will make the buyer want to buy your home. Monica, thank you for being back with me this morning. Thank you mm -hmm. for having me, Jenna. Monica, does everybody have to stage their home before they sell it? Not everybody has to stage their house because, believe it or not, sometimes I do come into a house and everything is the way it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, staging is about first impressions mm -hmm. and it's about presenting the house in the best light you can mm -hmm. so that way you can sell it the fastest. Okay, so let's say that some of our viewers out there, they want to stay to their home. What are the steps that they would need to take, Monica? Okay, first of all, and very important, and this, you know, almost everybody needs to do that, is say bye-bye to your clutter. And clutter, clean out and depersonalize. Basically, the rule you, you c which applies here is whatever you wouldn't find in a hotel room, mm -hmm. try not, not to have in your house. Once really? you put it on the market, yes. Mm -hmm. Take everything out, clean out, you know, just put it away, put it in storage if you have to, but just put it away. Mm -hmm. So really the key is to just be very simple in your home then. Yes. Less is better. Yes, <laughs> yes. And I know that that can be hard for people though. All right, what's another step that they can take? Another very important one is the curb appeal. Mm -hmm. This is the first impression. You know, if the curb appeal is fine and if you have a for sale, sign on the house, buyers will call you if it looks pretty. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's pretty inside, but the curb appeal is trashy mm -hmm. or not so nice, sometimes people would just drive by not knowing what a great house actually exists. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is you want to clean the windows, pan paint your fence if you have to, take care of your landscaping, take away everything from the driveway, all the clutter mm -hmm. again, mm -hmm. and just try to make it clean and pretty. So it's not just about the inside then, you're saying that it's about the outside, of course, too. Yeah, it's the whole package. The whole package. All right. Third step, Monica. The third one is the layout and the condition. Um, so layout of the rooms and the condition um, of what is in the rooms mm -hmm. as well as, as the walls. So for example, if you have several rooms in the house um, mm -hmm. and you don't use them and they're like cluttered with things, try to take this out. Uh, try to make a useful room, put a bedroom in it. If you had an old sofa in it, take mm -hmm. it out, put, some, put a lamp in it, something simple. Mm -hmm. So again, you know, take, take it out, make it pretty. Mm -hmm. Now, would these be tips that you'd be able to help any buyers, or excuse me, any sellers with, Monica? Yes, for sure. If you were their sure. realtor, you could help them. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Let's go over another step. The next one is color and style. Um, and the worst thing that can happen is, for example, and that's kind of like the easiest way to see it, um, you know, often we see like dated bathrooms where like the walls are like this, you know, this moody yellowish, you know, mm -hmm. painted, make it bright, make it happy, mm -hmm. um, you know, living rooms or dining rooms, you know, lots of times they date it. Just, you know, if, if it's simple for you to do, it doesn't take long. Sometimes you can do it even yourself. Just go ahead and paint it and make it fresh, bright and light. Well, what would be your suggested colors, the best colors? You know, it's, it depends on the house and the room. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be a little wild sometimes. Really? And have like a, you know, a fancy red in a dining room. Mm -hmm. But in general, light and bright uh, is what you should go for. Okay, so you're okay with if walls are different colors? They yes, whatever I said, you know, you mm -hmm. kind of have to make the, the room functional mm -hmm. and, and, you know, make it fit the house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, any more steps? Yes. The last one is, uh, if you need a professional stager, mm -hmm. go for it. They will make your life so much easier. They will, they will put everything in place the way it's supposed to be, and they take care of everything. They will find your storage, they will rent furniture if you need to, mm -hmm. uh, and things like this. So it's, you know, it will cost you a little money, but it will also make the house sell sooner. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're motivated and if you want to sell, go for it, invest, inv invest the money, mm -hmm. and get your house sold. Now, Monica, you've been in real estate for a while. Have you seen a lot of success with people staging their home? Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's y y yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it will. De it's definitely. It it can really be. You know, between selling and not selling the house. Really. Mm -hmm. And then you'll definitely sell it. 
you're staying much quicker if you decide to stay at your home than if you don't. Yes, for sure. Okay, and all the photos that our viewers can see behind us, are these homes that you've sold, Monica? And those are just examples of, of rooms, stage mm -hmm. rooms, and you can see everything is simple, mm -hmm. um, you know, bright and, and, and just, you know, decluttered and depersonalized. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they all look beautiful. These rooms all look beautiful. If you want more information on Monica, you can check out her information, and that's on the bottom of the screen. Monica, thank you for being with me this morning and sharing this information. Thank you, Jenna. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a quick break, but I'll be right back after this. Stay with me.